Peter Jason Matthew Hillier. Not just a cool name, but one of the funniest buggers on the planet. I'm about to make a complete knob of myself on TV. Continue. Starting out on community TV in 98, Pete's career went north fast. Starring on shows like Rove, Before the Game and The Trophy Room. Not to mention writing and performing in the Aussie rom-com I Love You Too. Becoming one of the most recognisable and most loved personalities in the country. Buongiorno. That's Italian. It means hello. And now we're going to get a double dose of funny as he teams up with one of his besties, Mez, in a show creatively called Peter Hellier and Merrick Watts. Please well, welcome our good mate, Peter Hellier. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> now, Peter, as we just mentioned, you and Merrick, you're close mates. How long have you guys known each other? Where did you meet and who came up with a creative name for the show? Uh, Peter Hellier, Merrick Watts. Well, I did because my name's first, obviously. Yeah. But I, uh, Merrick's actually the, my oldest friend in comedy. I met him before I started doing stand-up comedy at a community radio station at the outskirts of Melbourne, at Plenty Valley FM. And uh, I was doing a show and, uh, and Merrick had just finished doing a show. Merrick was kicked off air at Plenty Belly FM because he swore too much. Yeah. So, not much has changed. Not much has changed at all, no. So that's how we, we basically did shows where we had two CDs and it'd be like, that was Pearl Jam's Better Man and next is another song by Pearl Jam. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing a show together and I was yeah. spending a lot of time together, I imagine. Yeah. Are you getting up to much trouble in your downtime? Well, we, we're, up, we're doing shows in Sydney at the Comedy Store, mm. so it's, it's Merrick's hometown, but it's not my hometown. I'm from Melbourne, so I'm kind of away, so it's kind of the first night. It was the yeah. first night I was like, let's go, yeah, let's have a few yeah. beers and catch up afterwards, and then the next night I was like, yeah, let's have a few beers and catch up <laughs> afterwards. Yeah, you got sick of you, obviously, though. Yeah, I'm glad not hanging out with you on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> we, had a, we had a two-man tie. Just me and him, we, had a, we were at Thai restaurant all night. It was so romantic. <laughs> it was actually quite a romantic. What do you say to your wife, Bridge? Well, it's funny when you are touring. I'm not sure how you do it here, but like, now I'm getting better now at telling my wife, well, my wife exactly what I do. But years ago, it'd be like. saying that on national <laughs> 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 But years ago, you, you can't ring home and pretend you're having a good time because our job doesn't already seem like really a job. You know, like it seems like it's just fun. And it is yeah. fun. So if you're touring, like once I was in uh, at Hamilton Island doing a gig, but I went off and did uh, one of those Whit Sunday Islands and what? I rang Why my wife. And she said, how's, how's the, how are the shows going? I said, oh, tough, tough, you know, oh. I, I can't. Yeah, you've got to sound slightly, de slightly depressed. Yeah, the gig's yeah. going bad. It's really lonely in the hotel room. She's not yeah. stupid, Bree. Yeah. She's a very smart I woman. She's a smart woman. But yeah. I, I've got a photo here, and maybe this is why you had this as your mm. Twitter uh, photo for quite a while. And that was apparently, that's your backstage. <laughs> that's, so, is that's, it just you and a beer, is it? That is, I love this photo because it's what I call showbiz. It's, um, <laughs> it's look, the two hangers, coat hangers, yep. I'm, yeah. I'm getting a little bit up myself there, aren't I? And it's got the beer and it's got the beer. It's pretty much what most back you know, stages are. Yeah. But there's only one beer, which I find hard to believe with you, to be honest? Well, there's about six more of <laughs> <laughs> Just quickly, you and Bridge and the kids went backpacking uh, early in the year. Are you going to go again? How uh, does it go with three Yeah, of them? we'll go when the kids are um, not with us anymore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's an extraordinary that's, effort. Yeah, well, it was, it was crazy. And that's little Oscar with his little backpack. Um, three, three kids. Yeah, well, three went. kids. Uh, well, at the time, they were three, seven and nine. And we went uh, uh, Eastern Europe, uh, Prague and Budapest. And, You're mad. Uh, where's, uh, your, it, it, where's your bravery medal? Well, exactly. It's, it's, it's a good point. The worst thing is, actually, the, the toughest thing is, is just spending 24-7 with your kids. Like, there's no hand off the school. There's no babysitter. Yeah. It's actually, you realise that you don't really like your kids that much, you know? Dad, I do, know. kids. I do. I love you, guys. They're old enough to I love them. you. <laughs> Hopefully they're all in bed right now. Uh, Peter Helly, Merrick Watts, they're performing at the Comedy Store until the 25th of November. you just got to head to our website to get the ticket details. Please thank Peter Helly. Yeah. Before the show, you were saying about something that happened to you in Sydney. Okay, this is what happened. I came down from my hotel room. Every time I came out of my hotel, I had to catch a cab to the media interviews or the shows. And yeah. one time I decided I'm going to go down and have breakfast at a cafe. I went down there and I, this muscle memory kicked in and I jumped in the cab and the cab driver said, where are you going? I went... I don't actually want to be in here. I didn't say that. <laughs> and then I said, just take me to the comedy store. So I went to the comedy store. He was also, he was Middle Eastern. I didn't want to say, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to say, no, no, because no. I, I, I didn't want to be racist. We gave you 34 seconds to do that. We're out of time. Please thank Peter 